What is going on guys, Expo Games here, and today I'm going to be showing off the new Firebreaker, okay, it's not new, but it's new to me, okay, calm down there. The new Firebreaker hero set, um, basically what it is, is you have to kill six enemies with a purifier in a single game, and I know it just says that, but it's actually six times, so you have to do six games and six kills. So, in reality it's like ten games, which is like an hour and a half, it's stupid hard. But you actually have to do all of these first. Um, this is actually going to be a start to like a nine episode series. I'm going to do Ruin, Outrider, Prophet, Battery, Seraph, Nomad, Reaper, Spectre, and Firebreaker. Not in any specific order, but I am going to show off all of these. So you have to do that for the, uh, well, I've lost it. For the purifier, and then for heat wave, you have to do four kills, uh, kill four enemies stunned by your heat wave in a single game. You have to do that four times, which is another four games, and that's only if you get it in the four games. So it's absolutely terrible, but um, it's it's really difficult to do. But now that we have that covered, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the uh, trend transmissions yes okay we're gonna go through all of these and read them all off that way you guys know what's going on so right now I have 239 kills two kills per use 48 people stunned um, I don't know what that bottom right thing is his name is Christoph hijack his gender is a male Pragborn Christoph Hijack is a battlefield problem solver. Armed with a powerful arsenal of weaponry, he effectively resolves numerous issues over and over again when using his favorite tool, fire. Whether it's direct one-on-one -on -one confrontation or the strategic denial of areas, there's no questioning Hijack's utility, even if the results of his work can be hard to stomach. Working up close and personal with Flame is something that very few volunteer to do, but Hijack thrives on it. He and Fire appear to ha have come to an understanding, usually common dispassionate. The only time he truly lights up is when his enemies do. That is terrible. Purifier, a flamethrower that projects a steady steam of heat incinerating anyone or anything unfortunate enough to be engulfed in it. Um, Shh. Shima, Shima, Shima. Ignites enemies on fire that continue to burn, and over time, it takes a short time for the flame steam to reach its full length. Clear rooms by sweeping from one end to the other. And that is true. I was playing on Nuketown, and I jumped up to do that to, like, six people. Like, all six people on the other team. And it took a minute to hit the guys, so by the time it hit me, he had already shot me down. Um, heat wave. Rapid cycling heat sink. Oh, well, this is what I meant. It's on heat wave. Uh, rapid cycling heat sink dumps a stored thermal charge, which stuns enemies near the user, clears enemy equipment and score streaks in an area. Oh, that's pretty cool. Including incoming projectiles, effective as an escape tactic when enemies are nearby, can use be used offensive tactic to charge in and stun enemies, then finish them off. Um, his childhood. Now, these are all audio files, so I'm going to be playing all of these for you now. It says the analytics, police, fire, uh, tags, family, sister, uh, header ends. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, well, I've lost it now. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and play that as soon as I get back to it. It keeps doing that over and over, and I don't know how to fix it, but that's okay. Anyway, let me jump right into this transmission, and here we go. <laughs> my family, what's to tell? My mother left because my father wasn't drunk. No surprise, I acted out every chance I could. Small things first, little fire here, something broken there, no harm, no foul. One time, he hurt sister pretty bad. Didn't mean to, but grown man was stronger than he think. After that, I set fire to warehouse on other side of train tracks from house. <laughs> First time I get in trouble with police. Father let me stay in holding cell three days. Probably not want anyone seeing sister's broken arm. I was ten years old. So basically what he's saying is that his dad hurt his sister and he got in trouble with the police because he set a railroad on fire across the road. 
Um, this is another fire on somebody in the military. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start this one. A few months later, after my father had passed out for night in customary stupor, my sister suggested we rid ourselves of the old man for good. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea. I took his lighter from table and set fire to chair he was snoring in. This was when plan go bad. He woke up, screamed, and ran from room, knocking over spirits on table, spread fire all over the place. Fire is fickle thing. You think you understand it, then it begs to differ. Father ran from house, sister got badly burnt, I ended up in juvenile care facility. And that's where I stay till 17, when I get choice. Adult correctional facility or military service. I pick military service, where now they want me to burn people. <laughs> Life is strange, no? So he set his father on fire because his sister suggested it. I assume he was like a drunk or something. And then he ends up going to juvie. And after juvie, at 17, he goes into the military where they ask him to actually do what he's doing now. So this is his analytics uh, sniper, apparently. Uh, fire, no problems, problems. Oh, problems fired, no problems. Okay, we're going to go and play this one. The job I do, it's not for everyone. It's close-up work. You get to see what you do. You can't deny it. You can't unsee or unsmell it. Used to be, I'd RTB, and the smell of burnt flesh would be so strong, I wouldn't be able to eat. <laughs> doesn't bother me anymore. And as you can see, I normally get table to myself. <laughs> I like to think I'm a problem solver. Enemy has you pinned down? Give me a minute. No problem. Choke point needs choking? Flame. No problem. Hostile sniper using a building as nest? Give me five minutes. No building. No problem. You see the trend? Fire really is that versatile. Okay, so in this one, he's basically just saying that he literally solves every problem that he has with fire. So there's no one that really wants to be around him, but they do use him a lot when it comes to actually getting things done in the field. So now on to 8.1, it says he's a loner, uh, analytics null. So that means nothing. That's kind of odd. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and start this. Uh, fear. Fear is the title of this one. Understand that it has its moods, its tempers. Won't always do what you want or expect it to. But when it comes down to it, when you harness it properly, you're going to be one of the most effective units on the field. Your kills are rarely clean, and they often make a lot of noise. Psychological impact of that mm, is priceless. You'll be feared by your enemies and respected by your allies. Actually, your allies will probably fear you too. And you know, I'm fine with that. Okay, so he's literally saying, once again, about like burning people in the field. Not only does it have a psychological impact on the people that they're around, the people that they knew, it has a psychological impact on the people that you're around, the people in your field of battle. Literally, people respect you or they fear you, and there's really no in between, or they do both. So... This guy, I'm pretty sure is insane. Like, completely insane. I'm kind of excited to listen to the rest of everybody else's transmissions. But we're going to go on to the very last one, which no one else really gets to. But both of the tags are null, and this is the de debrief transmission. <clears throat> uh, based on the requirements laid out at the start of this procurement process, I'm certain that the intelligence gathered in the dossiers in front of you will lead you to conclude that the eight referenced individuals will be the best subjects for your program. 
Further, I believe that the plant you specify be placed amongst them will independently verify my findings. As instructed, the intelligence was gathered covertly, using a number of... Are you certain they were unaware of your surveillance? Yes, sir. I'd stake my reputation. There's more at stake here than your reputation. Sir. Yes, sir. Very well. Leave us. We were never here. We have never spoken. Well, I think I'm doing this backwards at this point. And I probably should have started at the very beginning, but that's okay. It's too late now. So, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Um, it's a, quite a bit of uh, backstory on this guy. He's, I'm pretty sure he's just insane. Um, I don't know if there's any other ones that are absolutely insane, but this guy is definitely insane. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy the in-depth of the Firebreaker Specialist, don't forget to drop the video a like and subscribe for more awesome content coming out each and every day, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and peace out. Yeah.